Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the checkbox widget. So simply put, it allows you to select an item almost like on and off. So it's great if you are creating an application that allows your users to essentially maybe select some settings. Checkbox is fantastic for that on or off. Just, you know, simply put, do they want not notifications on or off? And okay, so let's add the other child and you just do check box. And we'll get rid of this and we'll add it manually ourselves. So by default, it needs two things, value, and this is true or false. Basically, the default says state true means it's selected by default. False means it's deselected by default. Only false, but again, simple stuff. And we need one other thing, and this is the onChange method. And this is boolean, and this is value. And in here, what we can do is essentially set the state. And if we were to set the state, we can actually, you know, update it. So we can we can update it, or we can use this somewhere else. So I'm just going to print it off for now. So if I do value print off, so if I hot reload, let's see what we get. Okay, so we get this checkbox, no test at the moment, we'll handle that in a second. So if I click that, so you might be thinking, I'm clicking it and nothing is happening. And you're probably just, you know, trying to rack your head thinking, I'm clicking it. So why is essentially the actual, the, the item not being selected? And that is because we do need to add that set state. So if we look at this value here, if instead of that, we have a variable, so if we have a variable, so if we say, if we say boo, and I'm gonna say check, check box value equals false, so by default it's false. And then here, if I put checkbox value, and then in here on change, if I do, so as you can see, it's trying to set it to true, but it's not being updated, and that's what we need to handle. So do set state, in here, we can say drop down, uh, not drop down, sorry, checkbox value equals value and now if we hot reload as you can see we can change it on and off i removed the print so we was unable to see what was happening so if i put it back in hot reload and it, if i select it it's false if i select it it's now true so it's the state that it gets changed to you may also be thinking, I made a change when I click hot reload, it wasn't set to the default or false. That's because I did a hot reload. But when the user opens up the application from scratch, it'll be you know your default value. So just bear that in mind with hot reload with a lot of widgets, it's you know doesn't necessarily change the state that much if you haven't modified the code, you know, that much you know yourself. And really that is it for the checkbox, but this doesn't explain what this checkbox is for. So what we need to, you know, essentially do is add, you know, something extra to it. But if you look, there's no really property for modifying the text, you know, what appears after it. There's active color. I want you to experiment with that as an extra task. But what we need to do is, that, is actually add a text widget. But we can't add one directly, so we need to do a child. So for example, if we did a row, and then in here, we would have the checkbox. This checkbox that we've created, we put that here. And actually not there. In here first, we need to put, you know, the children array. In here, this is where we put it. We can get rid of this now. And what we can say directly afterwards, could be before, but probably after, we can say text, and we could just say, 
notifications, for example. Notifications. If I hard reload, as you can see, we now have in the form of a row, and you know, we've got a bit more context to it. Add in this, this what we call this text item, doesn't actually change the functionality. The set state here, and because this value gain updated, that this on change will allow us to trigger something. Or if we have a button that let's say saves the settings, we can use this variable to actually you know update some sort of record or some sort of setting for example this text all it does is it provides some contextual information to the user that this checkbox is related to notifications if i see that i i just think as i think a lot of other users do at the moment notifications are on for this application now notifications are off obviously if there was a save button i would know that i would need to click the save button to essentially commit these changes but that's really it and that's all there is for checkboxes simple stuff if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video